Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for a plan with me and we're gonna be planning out the week of Monday, February 3rd through Sunday, February 9th. And I had to just like double check that because I really cannot believe we're going into the first week of February. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like January was such a long month. Like it seemed like it was never gonna end. So the fact that we're like going into the first week of February feels a little weird, but anyways, um, I have something to admit to you guys. <laughs> I have been working behind the scenes a little bit on something. Um, this is not my deluxe monthly planner that I have in front of me. This is a colorful hourly planner, life planner. I have gone back to the hourly colorful life planner. And I know you guys are probably like, who is this girl? She is crazy. Trust me, I have thought the same things. I have been very irritated with myself as I've been kind of going back and forth a lot on what I want to do for 2020 as far as my planning and everything is concerned. Um, the bottom line is like, after kind of de-stashing all my stuff and going through that whole process, um, I would continue to watch Plan With Me's. I would continue to follow other people in the planning community and see like their spreads on Instagram. And I just realized like I really, really miss like sticker kits and laying stickers down. And I kind of got some reassurance from a few people who both messaged me and who I saw post about this and, and various groups on Facebook that they really have the life planner just for the kits because it's a hobby, it's a creative outlet, it's something they do for fun. So it's not necessarily like completely about being functional and useful, even though like, of course you want your planner to be those things, but it's also just a way to, you know, entertain themselves and like be a part of something and all of that sort of stuff. So. I definitely felt a void after getting rid of all of my stuff. I do love the Daily Petite Planner. I've got it right here. Um, I'm kind of figuring out some different uses for this. Like it might be more so focused on um, self-care and health and wellness and stuff like that. So I'm sort of playing around with that a little bit because the, what I don't want to do is like I don't really feel like it's necessary to have my hourly schedule here and like my whole to-do list, like because I work from home, I'm not on the go all the time. I can totally see how that's useful when you are on the go um, all the time and you want to bring this with you um, versus bringing this big planner with you, but I'm like always home. I work from home full time. The only time I'm ever leaving the house is to run errands or go to the park or something like that. And I just don't really need this. Plus, if I really wanted my to-do list on the go, I can use my like little reminders app in my iPhone. That's usually honestly what I do a lot of the times. Like if there's to-dos I want to make sure to do the next day, I'll put them in my reminders and I'll um, transfer that to my life planner. And then they'll be still in my reminders if that makes sense. So. Um, so I've been playing with some different like layouts and things like that of what I want to do in here. I want to start tracking like gratitude and workouts and moods and like all sorts of things. So once I get that all figured out, I'll let you know. Um, I know there is a health and wellness petite planner, but the format of it and stuff and like what I personally want to track, um, just doesn't fit with like what I'm wanting to do. So I... I think there's a lot of potential with this particular book for sure. Um, I love that there's like three sections. Like I can see myself doing like gratitude and like my daily habits and my maybe my meals for the day, my breakfast, like a motivation motivational quote, um, my daily weigh in, like whatever it may be. So I'm really excited about that and I'm planning on starting that very, very soon. So I'll share more once I figure that out. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what I've come up with. So the only thing I've really done so far is I did get this little um, decal sticker from Etsy. It's a rose gold um, just decal with like my name and stuff. 
And then I put in my paydays here. I plan on putting more in here, like my daughter's school schedule and like that sort of stuff, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I think I'm going to use these boxes here for like birthdays, anniversaries, big events, um, things of that nature. And then um, January, I haven't really set anything up as far as the dashboards are concerned. I did put my monthly spread into this book, so I have that in here. And I have gone back and I've back planned a little bit um, with kits and stuff like that. So, and just also to like experiment and see where I wanted to put things and what I wanted to use and all that. And I feel like I'm finding my groove quite a bit with it, which is exciting. So um, the current week, oh, and then here, okay. So February, I started setting up some stuff. So this sticker, um, up here is from Sarah Marie Stickers. I love it. I think it's amazing. I need to go in and fill this in, but I have planned my content for February. So it's just a matter of like, I use the um, petite monthly planner for that because there's all a ton of notes pages in the back to take notes for my videos. And then um, it's just really easy to plan videos like on a monthly view. So that is set up and then I do have the dashboard set up as well. So just with some habits and some goals and um, my like monthly must do's and things like that. I want to use this page here for memory keeping. So putting photos and stuff like that for the month there. And then here's my monthly spread. I've got that all filled out and ready to go. And then here's the current week. And I've been using the check boxes. I've seen both Sarah Marie and Julie's plans use these check boxes. And I really like it. Although I am debating going and forward like using the ombre checklist because for me what I really like doing is I love being able to like move stickers around. Um, I also like the look of the ombre boxes. I don't know, I feel like it looks maybe like a little bit less messy. I don't know if that's just me. But I also really like the look of this because I like the white space. So I don't really know what I'm going to do moving forward. Um, but these checklists are really nice. Um, I, I have found that six check boxes is plenty for me. And if I really want to, I can add some extra if I need to. Like on the weekends, I try not to do as many to do's. This has been a productive weekend, admittedly. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then over here, I've got my weekly to do's. I have my YouTube videos and then the book that I'm currently reading I have in this little box here. I really like that. I've been taking um, some quote stickers from Aaron, my Erin Condren stash and putting those in this box up here. And this is just a little add-on from Planner Kate um, to cover the hexagon. And then I've got the weather um, up here. I haven't put in today's weather yet. I still need to do that. Um, but yeah, and I just have like our plans and I've been really loving just using the thick washi down here because I've just like sort of figured out that I don't really have a need for this space. I know a lot of people like meal plan down there. Um, I think there was a week that I put like the bottom bar in. Maybe it was the first, yeah, it was the first and second week I, I did the hourly bottom bar instead. Um, but I, I didn't use it. Like I just don't feel like it's like super necessary. So I really like adding more to the page by using this thick washi down here. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm really liking just the whole like flow of this and the look of it. It's really exciting. So um, my commitment is now to stay in this book <laughs> and to, um, I, I can't decide if I want to stay in this book like from January to December or if I want to like get the new planner and start the new planner when it comes out in um, like it'll start in July but I think they usually release them in May so um, I don't know I'll have to see because the one benefit well there's two benefits to using like the July to June and that's um, my daughter starting kindergarten so being on an academic year is really nice and then also um, you get to use the new planner right away, obviously. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do there, but I definitely want to use this at least until the new planner comes out, if not until all the way through December. Um, the one thing I want to make sure to do too is order the 18-month planner when the new ones come out so that I can take out uh, six months and hopefully the coil will be larger. 
because um, I know the one thing that does happen a lot with this planner is it bulks up. So I did get this little rainbow cover. I really like it. Of course, I got the rose gold coil and I decided to go with the colorful because I just realized like um, my stickers are going to be covering everything up anyways and I love the look of the colorful way more than the neutral and as you can see like it works just the same like I'm covering up the colorful sections and stuff like that just like I would with the neutral so um, I decided to get the colorful and I'm really happy with it I still need to set up like my notes pages and things like that I have plans for everything I just need to like take the time to sit down and do it so but anyways guys let's get on with the plan with me sorry if I'm driving you a little crazy with me flip-flopping a bunch but I am very relieved to know that I am not the only one there are quite a few people that have been like really back and forth um, and I think what's throwing everyone off there's like a theme I've noticed is the petite the petite planners like this whole line um, and I think it's because like, you know, having like duplicate stuff going on and like what's going to work best and everything. The petite planner system is amazing. I love it. Um, I still love this book and I want to find a really good use for it and everything. But um, I think that's I feel like that's what's throwing a lot of people off. And a few people have mentioned this too. Like there's just so many options. Like you almost have to just kind of keep trying things to see what works best for you. Um, and then you may find that the best thing that works for you is what you've been doing all along. And that's kind of how I feel is like, you know, I've been working in an hourly planning in an hourly for quite some time now. And I've tried the horizontal format. I've tried the vertical format. I tried just the, you know, monthly spread and the deluxe monthly with the petite planner. And I just really missed this and I'm really happy to be back in it. It feels good. Um, I've been, you know, experimenting a lot, trying new things. So, but anyways, let's get on. Otherwise, this video is going to be so long. So as far as the kit I'm using this week, I'm going to be using Mini Kit 212. Um, I really, really love this, this uh, particular kit. I feel like it's a really great, like, transitional kit, if you will, between um, January to February and everything like that. Same with this. Um, I really loved this kit. I feel like it's so pretty. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just put down my thick washi on the bottom. I've really been loving that. It just makes it super simple um, to cover up this space and to not have to worry about using it. Like, I wanted to use it as a functional space, but I just, just, it's just not necessary. Like I was driving myself nuts trying to figure out like, what am I going to do to, or, or what am I going to use this bottom space for? And, you know, going back and forth on things. And finally, I'm just like, I'm just going to cover it up because I don't need it. <laughs> um, okay. So I'll put that in. I'm just gonna cut this. I'm actually filming this at like 10:30 at night. Um, I just got done filing our 2019 taxes, and it took me longer because I have YouTube and everything, um, and I had to like figure out all my expenses and all that kind of stuff. So that was just kind of a process but I'm very proud of myself. I got them filed, ready to go. I just got my 1099 from YouTube like today, and that was the last little bit I was waiting on, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is put this in, but yeah, like working on that late at night kind of just got me all like wired and stuff, although I am starting to get a little tired, so I might resume this in the morning. We'll see how long I last. Um, I know that the next few mornings are going to be really busy. Um, I'm planning on going to church in the morning with my five-year-old Madeline. Um, my husband and Julia are going to stay here. I'm just not too comfortable, even though she's had like all of her shots and stuff, like the cold and flu season has been kind of crazy. So I don't really feel comfortable taking Julia out right now. Um, so eventually she will come with us, but and we can like all go together as a family, but right now it's just gonna be me and me and Maddie. So 
we're gonna go do that at 8.30 tomorrow morning. And um, I need to do grocery shopping as well. So that'll be interesting, trying to find time for all that before my husband goes to work. Um, and then Monday morning, I am like super swamped at work. So um, I just figured right now is gonna be the best time for me to do this because I might even sign on earlier than I already do on Monday for work because I literally have so many appointments like back to back all day and I need to get some other stuff done before I end up on the phone all day. So I normally try to film before I start work in the morning, but I don't think that's going to happen. So with using this thick washi, the one thing that I don't like is when the thick washi down here matches this up here. Um, so in that case, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the thin washi and um, I might just use this one right here and we'll just layer that on top and hopefully it'll cover everything and where I don't have to like white it out. I think that'll actually work out really well because then if I want to do like some script stickers on top for like trash day and stuff like that, I'll have more space for it. So, okay. Oh goodness. I um, really need to go get my nails done. They've been driving me kind of crazy. I think I cut that good enough because it's not wanting to come up. Ooh, I got some of the paper. Um, the one thing I don't like about having my nails done is like, or what I don't like about having them done rather, now, now my tiredness is catching up with me, is um, how thick they are and it just makes it difficult to like, you know, get stickers up and stuff. Here it goes. Did not want to come up. Okay, so that's good. I love the look of that. And we'll do the same thing over here. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to white out this eight, just a little bit up here. Maybe even the top of that six, and the top of the nine possibly. And then we'll use this other strip. That little sliver is stuck to my finger. There we go. So yeah, if there's ever a day where I have like a ton of to-dos and there's not enough space in my hourly, I do have like notepads and stuff like that. And like I said, I've got my like little reminder app, so I'm really not worried about it. I typically don't have more than like six to-dos in a day. Um, so, it should be fine. Okay, so I think the next thing I will do is I'm going to put my thin washi, another thing is thin washi up here, and that's just to um, kind of block the space for the weather like I did in the other week. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna white out the 6 a.m. and the 7 a.m. And we'll get the little thin washi. Hopefully that won't look too funny with there being thin washi at the top as well. I guess we won't know until we put things down and see what it looks like. But I think I'm gonna use this black and white one here. It's calling to me, even though I don't feel like it super matches the kit, I don't know. Um, uh oh, come here little guy. Um, I still really like it, so. So what I did before is I just lined this up here. Now as far as having like daily um, petite plan with me's and stuff, I know a lot of you have really enjoyed 
me doing um, those plan with me so I've gotten some good feedback on it so I don't want to necessarily take those away but just know that like the purpose purpose of it is going to be changing um, so it's not really going to be like the same so I don't know that I'll do it every single week um, I feel like that might be a little too redundant because it's going to be a lot of the same thing but maybe I'll do like a monthly or bi bi-weekly like update or something on it um, I'll just have to see how it's going once I get it set up and all that. I did start seeing um, a therapist for anxiety and depression, which has been really great. Um, and she's having me journal, which is something I used to be really good about. And then I kind of, you know, um, stopped doing it <laughs> after having kids for a while. I feel like that's like pretty typical, like... You know, it's, it just takes some time to get into a new routine once you have kids and stuff. So, um, okay, I actually really like the look of that. I do feel like this top is like missing something. Like I'm almost tempted to put the other thin washi up there, possibly. Or maybe you just leave the space for the script. I'll just leave the space for the script and then if I don't like that, then I will just like move it or something. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay. So we'll work on the, well, let me actually just put my weekend sticker in real quick so that that's done. And we actually have quite a bit going on this week. It's going to be kind of a busy week. So, um, I found a few center that K right there it goes down pretty easy so okay cute I like that all right so we got space for the weather at the top and then as far as the sidebar is concerned I kind of honestly really like the look of this box here I'm curious about how well since it is pretty light how well it's going to cover um, this colorful one and that's where this little add-on really helps out quite a bit because you get these, oops, um, ah, goodness gracious, okay, there we go. You get these like little white cover-ups and that is super helpful for kind of blocking out since the colorful hexagon is obviously quite a bit brighter. It kind of helps just mute it down so it's not poking through a whole ton but yeah I actually really like that box I haven't been a big fan of um, the decorative like little you know covers and stuff with a lot of the kits um, although I did see April's sneak peeks today and they were super cute so um, even the like the boxes and stuff are really cute okay so I think the next thing we'll do is we'll put in our to-do list for the week and I've been really loving just using this flag I've really been liking kind of keeping a lot of um, white space in the weeks so that's why I'm kind of torn on the ombre checklists um, I did order some just to kind of try them out but I don't know we'll see so that is for sure crooked although yeah I think it's actually fine okay um it's definitely crooked but it's not like awful oh and then before I do that I want to put a sidebar checklist in and I do really like these like sidebar checklists. So I feel like that's what I would miss if I do do the ombre boxes is like having these little strips because I really love the look of it. It's just really clean looking, I feel like. So to do, and then this week, I think I'm going to actually have four videos this week. 
So stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put four boxes down here. Which means I may not be able to use this like larger box. I don't think it'll fit. Um, I can probably actually just use, maybe I'll just use one of these instead for putting what I'm reading for the week. Which is still power of now. Um, and yeah, this is definitely gonna actually bother me. So I'm going to try to peel this up a little bit. If I can. Really need to go get these nails taken care of because they've been honestly driving me crazy. It's my natural nail. It's just, they're just so thick and they've grown out a ton so they look awful. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll get these done anymore. Like I like the, like getting manicures but just doing the natural with like the clear polish and I might try like press-ons and stuff again so we'll see. But okay, so the sidebar is taken care of. And then I'm going to put our meal plan down here. And so I'm gonna use these little asterisks. And this is something new that I didn't do last week, but um, I think it'll look really nice. So I'm just gonna use these little asterisks actually to cover up the times. I love that Kate included these. Um, in the sampler page, the sampler page like seriously has everything you could need, which is so nice. Yeah, these nails make putting stickers down really difficult and I do not have tweezers. I feel like they're just in the way. <laughs> okay, and these are not gonna be perfect by any means, but I am not gonna be super nitpicky about it, honestly. Because, again, with my nails, it's just kind of uh, a little too frustrating to try to like peel them up and move them and all that kind of stuff. So let's kind of put them down. And then that's where I'll put our meal plan once we have it. <laughs> we don't have our meal plan yet. So um, now as far as to do's for this week, um, I think I'm going to switch up my pen. I'm going to use this tool um, pen in the 0.7 and it's a needle point. Uh, Julie's plans, she's been using tool pens. I've actually been using tool pens for um, quite some time. I really enjoy them, um, but I haven't used them in my planner yet. And I've seen her plan with me is using them and I feel like just the ink looks beautiful on it. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm a little nervous about it just cause like writing on stickers and stuff, I just get nervous, but we'll see what happens. So for to-dos, um, Let's see here. I know we're not gonna get Julia's crib done this week, so I'm gonna put that over here. And then I'm going to put um, toy organization. That is something that really needs to be done. Um, and then I want to work on the file cabinet a little bit this week. I realized after filing my taxes that we need to get way more organized with our paperwork. And then I'm gonna continue working on my LP setup. Um, and that's, I think, all I'm gonna put for now because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get to this week still. I mean, I still have all day Sunday tomorrow, so. We'll see. Now, as far as videos are concerned, um, Monday will be my plan with me. Wednesday and Saturday, I'm not entirely sure which video I'm gonna do on which day, so I'm gonna leave those blank, but I know Friday will be my week one check-in for budgeting. And it's funny, like, I switched from pen and paper budgeting to every dollar, 
And I've gotten some downright rude comments about it. Like, you know, teach their own. I'm sorry, like, if you really enjoyed watching my pen and paper budgets and stuff like that. But that just doesn't work for me right now. Um, every dollar has been working really well for me. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of keeping it real. But okay. Oh, and then I can write my power of now in this little sticker here. Power of now. All right, and then as far as plans are concerned, uh, let's see. We got our paperwork in for kindergarten, so that's actually good to go. I'm gonna cancel my lash appointment. Um, they all fell out and honestly, like I don't wanna get them redone because I feel like I love the look of them, I love the convenience of them, but like they get itchy every now and then and I feel like they fall out pretty quick. Um, and it could just be like the glue that my girl's using and stuff, but um, I kind of like just missed the process of like putting mascara on and like eyeshadow. Like I've been like really nervous about putting eyeshadow and like various like, you know, foundations and stuff like that on when I have the, the extensions. Um, and I feel like I have to be like way more cautious when I'm like washing my face and like they're in the way and like all this stuff. So I'm just personally not going to get them anymore, at least for now. Um, so I'm going to actually cancel that appointment. And then we have the daddy daughter dance on Wednesday. Oh, I need to get a dress for Maddie. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in. Um, and I'm gonna just put um, D, D dress in for daddy daughter dress. I'm gonna have to take her Wednesday. I think that's the only day I'm gonna be able to go, which is kind of inconvenient. I get off work at 2.30. And then the dance, I think, is at 6. So it's going to be kind of quick, but I won't be able to take her Monday or Tuesday. So that, that'll that be interesting. That's okay. Um, and then is that it? And then I have therapy on Thursday and then church. Okay. So the first thing we will start with is the daddy-daughter dance. And I think for that, I'm actually going to use... I wonder if this box is going to be too wide, actually. I think it is. I think I'm just going to use, actually, this box here. So I'm going to do, it's at 6 o'clock. Let's put this box right here. And this little heart. do actually probably should have written on the sticker before I put it down because writing against the coil but I'm I was a little paranoid about the inks like smearing so all right so daddy daughter dance I think I'm just going to put 6 p.m. up there. So we'll put that in there. And then I'm going to have to take her shopping. So I'm going to put that, um, put that right above there. Uh, we'll probably go right at 3 o'clock. And also, I just realized that um, Planner Kate new releases are on Wednesday as well. So I'm going to write that in. And I don't remember, like, with the time changes. I think it's 10 a.m. her time, which is, is it 8 my time? I don't remember if she's on Eastern time or not. I think she, she is. I don't remember. Um, but we'll 
just go ahead and put it up there. So I'm going to do um, PK April releases and we'll do press shopping and um, I want to use another shopping cart let's use a little car to mark that we're going somewhere okay so we'll do that and then um, Thursday is therapy so put that in I think I'm just gonna use this and it's at 3 p.m. is it 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I think for that to dry before I put that down. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put garbage day up here. And then we'll do grocery time. On this little tan sticker. I'm starting to get really tired. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was maybe a little ambitious filming this tonight, but. Um, and then we also have church at 8.30 on Sunday. So I'm going to use another appointment label. P at 3 p.m. And church at 8 30. I'll just put it at the nine o'clock spot. My husband's out there watching hockey so if you hear any hollering that's where that's coming from I do want to start marking bracket care in my planner as well because um, I always lose track of like when Maddie's going to bracket care bracket care is basically um, like aftercare for her school and they charge five dollars for it so she normally comes home at one um, but if she does bracket care then we pick her up at 2 30 and we like to let her go like at least once a week um, just because she loves it. It's just extra play time for her and everything. So I think if we do bracket care, it's going to be on Thursday. So I'm just going to write that in. Um, and I think I'll go ahead and use... Um, use maybe one of these pink boxes and I've got the icons add-on I love getting the icons because I don't know I just think they're cute so I'm gonna put um, bracket care and what I might do is draw like a little arrow just to mark how long she's going to be there for and that's everything I've got church I've got daddy daughter dance therapy I think that's everything so 
So let's put this sticker in. And just put that down at the 12 o'clock spot and then I will take my ruler and try to center that as best I can. Feel like that may be a center-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's definitely not center. <laughs> but that's okay. So we'll do bracket care at that time. And that just might be it. I feel like I'm forgetting. I kind of want to put, actually maybe I will. Um, that the kindergarten paperwork's done just to mark that like we have it done and everything's so actually I might want to call them and just double check that they have everything they need anyways so I'm just gonna put that at the top here and I'll use another one of these like preschool type of stickers and put that right there and Kinder Garden Paperwork Do. I feel like my P's always look like D's. And then I'm going to just do a little check mark in the corner there to mark that it's done and then if I need to follow up with them I will um, and then I think I think that's pretty much everything I'm trying to think if there's something that I'm missing um, I feel like maybe there's not I'm kind of curious about this sticker here I kind of just want to see oh that does actually Okay, well, yeah, I'll leave that alone, but this is kind of nice that actually maybe I kind of want to do like a picture of them or something. I don't know, but this actually, this little box does fit in the columns it looks like, which is nice. It's not like too wide or anything, so I might use that for something. We'll see. I like using these big like decorative boxes. That's one thing I missed because you got some of these in the way that Kate used to format her kits. Um, you would get like big boxes like this and I feel like the only way to get it now is if you order um, this sheet. You get like one of them and then you get the hexagon too, which I don't see myself using the hexagon. I feel like that would just look kind of weird. Um, but yeah, or I think that there's like a decorative like full box sheet too that you can get um actually I know there is I just don't remember what it's called and I don't remember if this size is on there and everything like that but anyways guys that is it for this plan with me and actually before I do that I kind of want to put a little trash con or trash con <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I need to go to bed a uh, trash can <laughs> up there um, icon is what I meant to say. Time to go to sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that is this week's spread. I love it. I think it's super cute. This kit is just adorable. I love it. Um, I will, I did get my March kits and some um, February kits and stuff like that. I'm going to be posting a monthly sticker haul here soon. So you guys will probably see like the February kits in my plan with me's and then my haul will include Maybe it'll include March and April, um, but uh, but yeah. So anyways, that is it for this plan with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. If you have any questions or comments, of course, leave those down below for me. Um, I just want to preface by saying, and I don't even know if that's the right way to say it. Seriously, I need to go to bed. But um, any like negative 
comments I'm just going to delete moving forward. So don't even bother. <laughs> um, because seriously, like there's so much negativity in the world and taking time out of your day to spread negativity, like I just don't understand it and I'm not going to waste my time with it. I'm just going to delete those comments moving forward. I've been told to do that by other fellow YouTubers out there and um, even by some of you guys, like just delete the comments, just ignore them and that's what I'm going to do moving forward. So if I'm driving you crazy with all of my switching things up, I completely get it. I understand. I've been driving myself crazy too, but I feel very, very good about this moving forward. Um, I'm really happy to be back in my life planner with my kits and everything like that. Um, yes, it costs money. Yes, I have to spend time doing it, but for me, it's very much so worth it. It's like a hobby for me and I enjoy it and you should do things that you enjoy. So anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to bed. I'll talk to y'all later and I hope that you have a wonderful week. Bye.